hey loves and welcome back to my channel so this is my own version of the dress you saw on my thumbnail so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this dress from a to z but the thing is the video is too long so i divided it into two parts so that i can explain very well please do not be angry so i will explain in details you will need so you need one and a half yard of velvet for this dress so here is my pattern i have my chest line bust point under bust half length the basque and the allowance it will have a basque waistline so i also have my shoulder so the thing is if your shoulder is 15 make it 13 or 14 it has to be very small then my nipple to nipple is four inches that is eight divided by two that is four so i'll mark the four four inches from the chest line down to the basque area if you have been following me for a while you know how i normally cut my corset so i measured four four inches for that from chest line to the basque and the allowance area so after that i will extend my chest line by one and a half inch one and a half is okay if you don't want your cleavage to show too much so one and a half i extended the line and from there i will make a curve i will make like a sweetheart curve that will smoothen into the armhole like it to transition into the armhole you can see how i curved it so from that area where you extended your chest line you curved you curve it to your armhole then at the bust point you measure how wide you want the yoke to be if you want it to be very wide you can make it one inch but i made mine 0 0.7 0 0.7 inches so i have marked it at my bust point so from that chest line i will also make a sweetheart curve to join that line you can see how i drafted the curve and then from there from there i will make a v line to meet the basque point if you check the video you will see that the skin net has a v shape down to the basque area so i did not even um reach the 0 0.7 that i marked i made it i completed it one inch so you can see how it looks it's first of all it will have a sweetheart shape at the upper part and then the v shape from the bust point down to the basque area so our yoke is out now so at the under boss i'll subtract one and a half inch one and a half inch on both sides of the under boss then from there i will extend the one and a half inch line down to the basque or down to the allowance that is how i normally draft my course set so right now i'll make a call from the under boss to the boss point you make a call from the under boss to the boss point and then you also complete the other curve first of all draft out your yoke before drafting your corset your bra cup and the rest so at the chest line the area where i extended by one inch i was one and a half i will subtract one one inch on each side of the dart line i'll subtract one one inch and from the boss point i will connect it to that one inch i'll connect the one inch to my bust point so you can see i have done my upper bust tightening and i have done my under bust tightening so this area that i'm shading right now is the area that i will cut out i don't need it i'll have to cut this place out that's why i shaded it so right now i am going to cut out this area that i shaded that's the first thing that i will cut so uh, let me label my yoke you can see our yoke has that v shape so at the side of the bra cup you will go in by four inches you go in by four or four and a half it depends on the size of your breast if the breast is too big you can make it five inches if you want so from there you connect to the under boss and to the armhole line you can see the shape of the side is out then for the center bra cup you will make a curve to meet that area where the yoke cross you can see the area where the yoke cross so that's where your center bra cup stop 
you can see how I ended the curve. So I will cut off the unwanted part of the pattern paper and I will cut out this shaded part. You can see how I am cutting it. I'll cut off the shaded part first. Don't cut out your yoke for now. It will affect your measurement. So I'll cut off the shaded part. And right now I'll cut out the side piece. Then I'll cut my armhole. And then cut off the unwanted part of the pattern. And for the neck width, your neck should be 4 by 4. You should make it 4 inches by 4. It is very, very perfect. So right now, I will place the center piece to cover the bra cup of the side piece. You know how I normally place my corsets or my bustier? The bra cup, the curved area will be overlapping each other then i will take my body measurements divided by four plus two inches so her waist is 29 but I, her waist is 30 but i made it 28 so 28 divided by four is seven plus two inches same allowance that is nine the reason why i made it 28 is for waist snatching i reduced it from 30 to 28 so right now i'll connect my measurements from my bust to my waist and down to the basque measurement so after doing that i will go ahead and cut off the unwanted part remember you can see my normal half length right and then i added extra six inches for the basque then i'll come down by two inches from my half length and i'll mark my triangular line you can see i came down by two inches from my normal half length and then i marked my basque shape don't connect your bars from the half length exactly come down by two inches so that you will have extra allowance for trimming and the rest so here is the front part and here is the yoke so right now i'll go ahead and cut out this yoke cut out your yoke after you must have taken your body measurement if you cut it off at the beginning it will affect you so well so leave it take all your body measurements then you can cut out your yoke so right now i'll cut out my bra cup so once you cut them out you label them so this one is for the center i'll go ahead and cut out the center i made a video on how to cut a corset with a deep neckline so if you watch that video you can relate to what i did here so this is the side and this is the center you can see i have checked the two of them they are equal the curves are equal so this is my center and it will be on fold so i'll label the center I'll label the center bracket of C and the other one is the side. So this is what the front part looks like. Draft your yoke, then draft your corset and take your body measurement. Then after that, come down by two inches and then draft your basque shape. So right now i will close this dart if you check that picture you notice that the dart of this busty is not at the center it is slanted so close this dart use a gum or a cello tape to close the first that this is the an actual dart right so close it and then you can you are now free to slant your new dart or your new lines how you want them to be so after you close your dart on your pattern paper it will not affect you then you are free to slant your darts how you want them to be so you can see i am slanting them i have slanted the first one and i am slanting the second one but if you don't want this second line you can leave it they are just for decorative purpose i don't know if you understand if you check that boss t very well you will notice that the dart is not at the center it is slanty so i labeled one two three so that i will know the pieces because i'm going to slash all of them i'm going to cut them so i labeled the center one then the middle one i labeled it number two and the side part i labeled it number three i don't know if you understand after drafting your corset remove your bra up close the dart on the pattern paper and then slash your fabric how you want it to be that's all so 
this is it for the front part so this is the back pattern i measured my shoulder i told you guys that the shoulder is 15 but i made it 14 reduce your shoulder so that it will not be so that the yoke will like balance well so if you notice i did not add any zipper allowance to this back pattern so the neck depth is two inches the wideness of the neck is four so i'll go ahead and make like a circle shape at the center of the yoke i want my yoke to stop at the armhole line so if you want you can make a round shape you know that normal decorative round shape you see um at the back of clothes or um you know how you normally there are some dresses that you see a round shape at the back yoke so this is how it is supposed to look but i don't want mine to be like this so if you want to leave yours like this fine i want mine to a kind of shift to the that area like this is how i want it to be sorry for all the corrections but this is how i want mine to be so i'll go ahead and cut out this opening at the back this is how I want my own to look. And like I told you guys, I did not add any zipper allowance to this back pattern. Reason is because I would lace it at the back. So there is no need adding a zipper allowance. So just cut with your normal measurement without adding any zipper allowance. So this is the back. I'll go ahead and measure my bust measurements. And I'll also measure my waist measurements. I don't normally add that to the back of my bust here. Especially if I'm using a yoke or if it's an off shoulder kind of. I don't normally use sorry that's at the back of my bodies if you have been following me for a while now i think they're not really necessary if you can manipulate very well they are not really necessary so i just took my normal waist measurements plus two inches seam allowance my normal bust plus two inches seam allowance and that is all so i'll go ahead and cut off my yoke like i told you guys the yoke of the back will stop at the armhole line just like the yoke of the front so it stopped around the you am holding so after that i will subtract two and a half inches from the normal back like after cutting your back without the zipper allowance you will still go ahead and subtract two and a half inch from the center back the reason two and a half inches sorry the reason why i did this is because i want it to be open at the back because i will lace it like i will tie it at the back that's why i went in by 2.5 inches so i will cut out my normal measurements and after cutting out my normal measurements i'll also go ahead and cut off that 2.5 inches so you can see the back have reduced so it will be open at the back i want the back to have five inches gap or six inches gap so that after tying it it will be very fine and it will snatch your waist very well so here is for the back so this is for the skirt part i have drafted my skirt it is just a normal short skirt so draft your normal short skirt pattern depending on how long you want yours to be so i'll extend the hip line this is the slant this is where the slant to stop so i label this slant and this is the full length you know the skirt is slanty if you check very well it is slanty it is not straight at the down part so after extending that line i'll go ahead and slant it from the full length i will make my slant the slant will not be too high my own stopped um at five inches below the hip line like after the hip line it stopped at five inches below the hip line so i'm going to slant my skirt the skirt is not straight so first of all slant your skirt and the slant is facing the right hand side so after slanting the front you are going to place this front on the back pattern and then slant the back and if you are slanting please the front the right side of the fabric should be facing the right side the right side of the front should be facing the right side of the back i don't know if you understand you can see how i placed it the front is facing the front then after placing it this way you go ahead and 
slash slant the back as well so i am done so this is the right and the other one is the left so label right and left you know two of them are not equal so that you know the right uh, you can um know the right and the left without struggle so this is the front part i am done now so i'll go ahead and cut this out on the lining first after drafting your skirt pattern after doing your slants and the rest cut it out on your lining first because the front is going to have like a little drip like i'll drape the front somehow so cut your lining first so that when you are draping you will drape on the lining like the lining will serve as a guide so that when you are draping the front part of the skirt you will know the length and you will know where to stop so cut the lining first and after cutting mark the back part this is where you are going to add your interface i added an interface to both the velvet and the lining while sewing this so i've cut the left I'll, I'll mark the back part i'll also cut the right part the right of the back and then i'll also mark the back the the back part this is where i will add my interface so here is the front i have finished cutting it out on my lining i'll go ahead and slant and slash this so you can see if you check very well the skirt part of this dress has few drapings at the front so i'll go ahead and slash it i'll use the slash and spread method so the part you will spread will be the shorter part you can see this get the right side is shorter than the left side so that right part is the part you will spread so i am done slashing I'll go ahead and I'm 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 done drafting my marking my lines. I'll go ahead and slash. So you will slash from the shorter side and stop at the longer side. You can see what I'm doing. You go ahead and slash. So you can see and when you are um, slashing if you are spreading they should be at least two inches apart from each other so i am done slashing and i spreaded it so right now i'll place it on my velvet and cut out i used a velvet for this and like i told you guys i used one and a half yard of velvet one and a half is very okay it did not consume a lot so you can see my velvet right now i will place the pattern paper on it and i'll arrange it very well like i told you guys they should be like two inches at least two inches or three inches away from each other so this is what it looks like right now i'll go ahead and cut i'll go ahead and cut out these velvets So remember, the part where I spread it is the short part, the part where I slanted. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So when you are cutting just cut straight now i am done and this is what i have so you can see the shorter part is now looking longer than the other one so after draping it will go back to its normal shape and you will have um little little drapes like this one that i have right now so that's why i cut out my lining first so that when i'm draping my lining will guide me 
so i'll go ahead and cut out the back parts the right side should the right side of the lining should be facing the right side of the fabric so i am done cutting so back to my front i have cut out my yoke i doubled my yoke and i added half an inch seam allowance round that area where i cut it out from so this is the um, bra cup i have cut the lining and the velvet and i added my tissue interface all of them tissue stay that's what they call it right so here is the center this is the number one i added half an inch round everything you can see i added half an inch round everything this is the number one the number two the number three i also cut out the lining please remember to add your tissue gum or hard gum to your velvet it will give you less stress while sewing so that is it so this is my bra cup i cut the center and the side so this is the back part and this is the back yoke as well so this is the front yoke i'll go ahead and keep everything together and then pin them so i'll use a bra cup for this i'll use a bra cup for it i don't want to cut out my wording because i'm working with a velvet i don't need anything that will give me so much stress so here is the back part i have added my interface to all of them this is the back part of the skirts and this is the front part of the skirt as well sorry that this one that i'm placing right now is the lining for the back part of the skirt so i added an interface to the front as well and here is the lining though i made a mistake while i was adding my interface so i repeated it i repeat i had to repeat i added my interface on the wrong part so i will go ahead and adjust everything and all the mistake that i made while adding my interface so this is the front part you can see the longer part is the short part remember but it will be normal after doing our drape you know we are going to drape it right so after making your drapes it will go back to the normal so this is the part one of this video i will stop right here for now so the part two will be up immediately so after watching the part one if you see this if you want to see the sewing process then watch the part two the video is a kind of long so i try to like make it short make each session short so this is the cutting part and the arranging part so you can see the drapes i'll go ahead and make my drapes i place it on the lining i use this as i use the lining as a guide so the lining is guiding me at least i'll know where i will stop draping at. so you can see it right now if you are draping please hold everything down with your pin hold everything down with your pin so after that you go ahead and run a stitch on that part where you pinned so that everything will be normal so um i have run a stitch on it and this is what i have so after doing that you can see the back part and the front part of the skirt are now equal so after making your drip the front and the back will be equal on the side so this is what it looks like i have closed the zipper allowance for my back part i'll also repeat the same thing on the lining but there is no drape on the lining remember so i'll place it i'll go ahead and shape the skirt i'll shape the waist i'll mark my waist measurement i'll mark my hip measurement and then at the knee you subtract it in you subtract six inches from your hip if your hip is 40 you subtract six inches that is 34 then divide it 34 by two that was how i got my knee measurements or my full length 
measurement so i have shaped the skirt parts i shaped the lining differently as well so this is the front my skin net is ready everything is ready so that is where we will stop for now you can see my front i have arranged my bra cup i have also arranged the lining i'll arrange everything on my table so that when i am joining i will not find it too difficult so see you in my next video bye